Howdy, friends. Welcome to Make and Play. Lee and Hale back once again to hang out with you guys and our pirate adventure. <laughs> so today we are going to be adding some little, some little feathery friends. We're going to be making some pelicans. Pelican, pelican. And we are going to be making some waves. We make waves around here, absolutely. Making some waves out of just paper, like always. Just a bunch of paper, all kinds of paper. And we wanna make sure that, uh, we, you wanna make sure that you share. Share, like and share, because we have $25 gift certificates to our friends at Shipwreck, our local pirates, and they also have Amico Nave, both of those on here. You can take these there and get yourself some grub from the galley, all right? And if you would like to help keep supporting our little little thing we do here, you can uh, send me a tip on Venmo, or you can also contact us through PayPal or through email, and I appreciate that. So let's get busy. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw this cute little pelican, pelican, pelican. He's so cute. And uh, as always, we're gonna start with shapes. Yay, yay shapes. I'm gonna start with his head and I'm gonna give myself, I'm drawing with a pencil, but I'm gonna draw really hard so you can see it. All right, and then let's go ahead and let's do the neck. And the neck is just, if I was drawing just for me, I'd have this little white line. But I'm drawing with you, so I'm gonna do this really dark line so you can see. So the head is a circle, and then we've got this kind of rectangular shape for the neck. We know what this is right here, right? That's so easy. And I know where to put it because see how if I draw a line down here, this just continues on. So that's gonna help me know where that line is. There's that part and this overlaps the neck. So I'm gonna come over here, and this is the other side of my triangle. Oh, I went too far, no problem. Look, I can make it fit. All right, so the next thing we need to do is the body. Look how simple this is here. It's just a long, thin oval. And I wanna look at this space here. This space here between the beak and the body, and right here, see this triangular shape here? This is the negative space. The negative space is the space that's around the object that you're drawing or painting or creating, okay, the negative space. So sometimes it's really important to look at that negative space. So I wanna make sure that right here, I have that triangle of negative space. That's a little bit longer. This triangle of negative space that's left. So that helps me decide where this, where this oval is gonna start. So I know that this oval it's right here. This oval is going to start here and go out. I know it goes down some here, so it's going to go out and down. And then the, the top part of the oval is right here. Okay, does that make sense to you guys? That negative space? Because there's nothing there. See? But it is still a space. Alright, so the next thing we need to do are the cute little feet. And those are super simple because it is just a, a, a thin rectangle and then these kind of uh, triangular shaped feet. But I'm looking to see where they go and I can line it up right here. This is where one of mine goes. And I move it over a little bit. Here's the other one. And then I'm just going to save my space to work in with a triangle. That's it, that is all the shapes that we need for this pelican. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add contour because the next step is contour. First is shape, second is contour. So I look at this and he's got this little thing here. There's actually a little comb on some pelicans. They're little, I don't know what the real term is. Little feathers right here. So I'm gonna add that little part right here where the feathers come out. And then I wanna make sure that I get this nice curve. So when I bring it back down, I'm gonna bring it down like this and I'm gonna curve that in and now it goes out like this. And then I'm gonna have it come off of his back because that's where the feather goes, all right? Goodness, this is so easy. Who knew a pelican was so easy to draw? I did, I knew, 
I knew it. I'm not going to lie. I knew it. So I'm a little thick right here. This is where I get to fix that. I'm going to change it. I'm going to curve this right here, which makes this negative space a little bit bigger. I'm going to get rid of this line so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to get rid of this right here. Okay. That way you can tell what I've got going on here. All right, I think all of those contour lines are great. Let's move up here on the head and the neck. First of all, I'm gonna get rid of the lines that I don't want. I don't want that line going through my beak. I don't want this line going through my neck or head. All right, now that I can see my drawing better, it's easier to tell where those contour lines go. So let's go ahead and um, uh, let's do the contour lines of the feet. So the only thing that we have to do here really is just give him some toes. So I'm just separating the triangle with two other triangles. One, two. And that's going to work for our purposes. Oh, I think they have webbed toes. I think they have webbed toes, right? I have to, I'm looking over at Miss Heather because she's she's our she's our local biologist. They have webbed toes, so I need to make those webbed. These are not webbed. We'll make these webbed. They're good swimmers. Okay, you can you know call and give me all sorts of information of things you know and understand. I am no scientist. I am uh, far from it. So uh, we have some pretty awesome looking feet here. We did our shapes, we did our contour, and now we get to move on to the fun part, which is detail. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this wing in. Watch this, I'm gonna come down. Oh my goodness gracious, that's so easy. And then I'm gonna get to put these cool markings on his face. If you're an amateur uh, ornithologist, <laughs> uh, then you're going to know that this is probably not exact, okay? Mr. Audubon would not be happy with my rendition of a pelican, I'm sure. You should ask your IT person at your house to help you look up... Uh, uh, it's James, James Audubon, John Audubon. Just look up Audubon and see all the beautiful birds that he drew and painted and printed. Oh, goodness. He was such a talented, talented man, naturalist. All right. So, look at that bird. Bird. Hey, how do pelicans know to leave that little post they're sitting on? when that other pelican comes up behind them. You ever watch them when you're somewhere and when that other pelican comes up, they just they just get up and leave. Like it's perfect timing. And they're not even looking that direction. I don't understand. It's like they have bird radar. So I'm just going over my lines with my little micron. I love this pen. You could use anything you have. You don't even have to go over. You could leave it like it is. But I like this look. I like this like illustrated look. Little texture marks. This, this guy's legs might be a little too long. That's all right. And I'm gonna thin up his neck just a little bit more. It's one thing you can do. When you start adding your pen, you might change things a little bit. Should have done one of these pelicans with his with his mouth open and like a little fish going, help me from inside of his mouth. Okay, there we go. So you know the drill now. If you've been watching Make and Play for a while you know that the next step would be for you to add your color if you're gonna add color. He's quite the cute little pelican. So I would just get my Prismacolors out and I would add color, all right? So you can color yours any way that you would like. I love my Prismacolors, Mwah. you're awesome. And then I'll cut this guy out because then we're gonna add him to our 
Pirate Playscape. I was looking at it when we, before we decided to put pelicans in there, and I was like, I'm missing something. I was like, oh, man, you got to have pelicans. So all I'm doing is cutting this out. Remember, cut into the corners. Don't try to turn around in those corners unless you have to. I'm always teaching people how to cut correctly. It's a skill. Try not to cut your fingers. That's always a bonus, not to cut your fingers off. If it's hard to cut this, remember, ask somebody with bigger hands in your house. Say, hey, come help me cut this with your big hands. Cutting into that corner because it makes it easier. And then I'm going to leave a little tab because I'm not real sure yet how I'm going to put this on. You know, if, I'm, if I put it on one thing, I might need to have a tab. If I put it on something else, I might not need a tab. So I'm going to keep that little tab there. You can see this is like the big, the big penguin. This is a little baby one. All right. These guys are ready to go, so I'm gonna move them out of my way, and we're gonna get the next part of our cool playscape, and that is making some waves to go in our water. We wanna make waves, absolutely we're making some waves. Okay, so I have acrylic paint. You could use anything you want. You could use watercolors, temperas. You could just use some colored paper. You could even look through some magazines and find magazines that have the colors that you like in the photos and cut them out. And a lot of times when you do things like that, um, once you cut them out, people don't really even notice that they're cut out from magazines. If they do, it's super cool because then they're like, oh, you're so cool, you use magazines. So I just have three different colors here because I want a blue green. So I'm just grabbing a little bit of each and I have water on my brush to help this blend and move around. Oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. <sighs> ocean, do you miss me? Because I miss you so much. We're so close to the ocean here in Bryan, Texas. Galveston is not far away at all, just to go sit on the beach. I need to get there. So I'm just gonna take my time here and I'm gonna paint these strips. And I, I cut this into strips so that I can have some long waves, all right? I'm gonna show you where we're going with this. This color is just my most favorite color ever, this blue-green. I'm using a big fat brush because it's blending the paints for me very well and it's saving me time. All right, so you can see how um, triple, I would say, I almost said double load, triple load, triple load your brush. Make sure your brush is wet and you can get this beautiful effect on your paper. I love the way this looks so much. I want to paint a wall in my house like that. Okay, so what we're going to do with this cool paper is we are going to take it and we are going to create some waves. This is where we're going. Just some simple paper waves that we can add to our playscape however, however we wish. I always love layering. I like to layer these three-dimensional pieces, all of the making place stuff, just like I would layer a drawing or a painting. And this is one more layer to make it interesting. We could fold this and glue it down to something, okay, make a little tab, or we could just attach it to something. All I do is take my paper, I'm gonna take two at one time because that saves me time. You take two, you could draw and cut it, and you will, you're gonna get two pieces, okay? So you just draw, I'm gonna use this marker, so make sure you can see. You just draw your waves the way you would want to. 
This is an easy way to do this. Okay, and then I'm gonna go. I'm doing this on the back because I don't want anyone to see my mess ups. And I don't want it to go that quite that far down, so it's almost the same. Alright, and I'll do this right here. Okay. If I keep these together and cut them out, I'm gonna get two. But right now, since they're two different sizes, I'm just gonna do one. Whenever you're doing something like this, you always wanna draw it on the back so that you don't see those markings on the front, the pretty side of your project. But if you do draw it on the back, you need to make sure that you've turned it the right way because if it's something that matters which way it, it's, it faces once you flip it over, um, you could do it the wrong way. And I did that, I did that multiple times when I was making our pirate ship. I, I did the wrong side and then I just had to fix it. So, it happens. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we finished waves and cute little pelican, pelican, pelican. They're adorable. And we are gonna put these waves and these pelicans on our docks and our playscape, okay? So that we can have some extra friends when we get, you know, get the, get the ships going. When we get moving, when we get going. All right, so as always, if you appreciate what we're doing here, I would love it if you could help support what we're doing through a tip through Venmo, or you can also uh, go through PayPal. That information is on the, the last slide. And we wanna say thank you to our friends at Shipwreck Grill because at the end of this week, we are giving out two $25 gift certificates, one from people sharing last week and posting and sharing and liking last week, and one from this week from our local pirates. Arr, it's shipwreck. So as always, keep creating and be kind.